News. Good evening, I'm Lee Zurich. And I'm Lauren McCoy. We're taking a closer look at what led to the arrest of a murder suspect accused of assaulting a 60-year-old man and leaving him to die. Ashlyn Brothers reports. One month after his 19th birthday, New Orleans police arrest oh, Joe Warren fuck, on one... Oh, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. wicked. Get your tissues, man. I know this breaks your heart. <laughs> no, I'm, all, I'm, no, I'm past that already. I'm good now. I'm past that. Let me run this back again, man. I wasn't expecting this, man. This is this is now this guy's gay eye chronic. This is fucking <laughs> bad already. Damn. Good evening. I'm Lee Zurich. And I'm Lauren McCoy. We're taking a closer look at what led to the arrest of a murder suspect accused of assaulting a 60 year old man and leaving him to die. Adam Brothers reports. God. One month after his 19th birthday, New Orleans police arrest Joel Warren on one count of second degree murder. Just sounds like what we call an old Mike and Pete special. Just like take any two DAs, come in, have them try the case, and it should result in a conviction. The arrest came Tuesday. Court documents reveal police obtained surveillance footage of the homicide, showing 19-year-old Joel Warren sexually and physically assaulting a 60-year-old man for three hours. Please don't be a glider. Oh, my. Please, uh, please, please don't be a glider. Yo, you know it's a glider. You, uh, uh, yo. You I know, hope it's listen, let's let's take bets. Uh, chat one for glider, two for other. Fuck it. it's other. Funny, it's funny, anything glider. not a glider. <laughs> one for glider, two for other. <laughs> Look, I hope it's not a glider, but it's probably it's a glider. glider. I pr Damn. listen, assaulted him for three fucking hours. Yo, that son. Wait, wait, was it him? Wicked. He assaulted a man. Yeah, a sixty-year-old man. Are you listening? <laughs> Hold on, that One shot right there. The the six -year -old. Yes, sounds like what we call an old okay. Mike and special. Just like take any two DAs, come in, have them try the case, and it should result in a conviction. The arrest came Tuesday. Court documents reveal police obtained surveillance footage of the homicide, showing 19-year-old Joel Warren sexually and physically assaulting a 60-year-old man for three hours before he died from his injuries. Oh, that victim heck. has since been identified by the Orleans Parish Coroner as Tyrone McKinnis. Fox okay. Oh, it's his son. <laughs> it's his son. Yeah, damn. damn. What the fuck, bro? Well, he's 60, so, I mean, he's pretty up there, right? That's, man, that's like some new oh. level of sun we have recently unlocked. <laughs> savage, talk about savage, right? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Cheat code, that's cheat code, son, man. Yeah, this is like a sun DLC. <laughs> yeah. we're, gonna to, we're gonna have to recruit the old ladies from Africa to come over here and teach the old people how to fight <laughs> off the <laughs> fucking rapists. Yeah. Right. Teach the guys how to fight these dudes. Jesus. Imagine getting die like yeah. dying from that. getting fucked up the ass for three hours. On the I street mean, though, not not in a building, but on the street. Yeah, yeah. I mean I mean that's a hell of a way to end your like story. You know, 60 years old, you live your life. Yeah, Bam, that's, that's such a such I feel bad for that guy. Like, I, I mean know. Yo, that's how that's how do you that's the final chapter. Oh my god, man. Yeah, I know. try the case and it should result in a conviction. The arrest came Tuesday. Court documents reveal police obtained surveillance footage of the homicide, showing 19-year-old Joel Warren sexually and physically assaulting a 60-year-old man for three hours before he died from his injuries. That victim has since been identified by the Orleans Parish Coroner as Tyrone McKennis. Fox State legal analyst God. Joe Responti looked over the arrest <laughs> report. It sounds like it's going to be a slam dunk if they have a video of the murder happening. We don't you would know, think. But this case looks pretty straightforward. Outlined in the police report, the Orleans Parish Communications District first received an emergency medical call from an employee of United Refrigeration Incorporated who reported seeing an unresponsive man covered in blood lying in the business's driveway in the 700 block of South Galvez off of Poydras Street. This video from police shows Warren walking away from the crime scene. Documents show officers found McKinnis lying on a field with his head resting on the rear driveway curb and a large amount of blood on the pavement. 
EMS arrived on scene and pronounced McInnes dead on February 9th, just after 7 a.m. The incident was reclassified as a homicide. The police arrested him for second degree murder. That's not necessarily what he's going to be charged with by the district attorney. Yeah, I mean, second degree murder. Somebody in the chat said that old son man was probably dressed like a slut, though. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yo, Paula Sanders says, challenge, goat boy. Give Oculation props. Where's the money? Salute to Paula Sanders. Showing up huge tonight, man. Paula Sanders is in the building. She's on She's on her um, MVP status, man. Um, salute to Paula Sanders. Um, shout out to LRLRS. Coming through once again. Mystical Goat says, I think Paula is drunk. LOL. <laughs> hey, man. It's all good, man. You can get drunk as long as you don't come on the panel, man. It sounds to me like he can also be arrested for a first, second, or third degree rape or some sort of sexual battery. And if that's the case, if the murder occurred during the perpetration of this other specified type crime, he can really be charged with first-degree murder, and that would expose him to a possible death penalty. That's going to be up to the DA and ultimately a grand jury to decide no, what he is going to be charged with.